Nicole Chase and welcome to my channel. I design fun and colorful amigurumi crochet patterns that are great for any skill level. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas tree cake ornament. For this pattern, you will need white, green, and red yarn, a four millimeter crochet hook, a small amount of polyfill stuffing, scissors, and a tapestry needle. Let's get started. We will start with the tree front using a white yarn and begin with a slip knot. And for row one, we'll start with a chain two and work one single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So you have one stitch for row one. Moving on to row two, we will chain one, turn, and work two single crochets into that, that stitch. So row two will have a total of two stitches. Moving on to row three, we will chain one and turn and work two single crochets in each stitch. And at the end of row three, you will have a total of four stitches. Row four, start with a chain one and turn. And then we will work two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next two, and two single crochets into the last stitch. And at the end of this row, we will have a total of six stitches. Moving on to row five, we will chain one and turn, and we will first slip stitch into the first stitch, and then we will work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we will leave that last stitch unworked. Moving on to row six, chain one, turn, and work two single crochets into the next stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two, and two single crochets into the next stitch. Now for row seven, chain one and turn. And again, we will work two single crochets into the first stitch. Then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then two single crochets into the last stitch. Now for row eight, we will chain one, turn, work two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and two single crochets into the last stitch. And you'll have a total of 10 stitches. Moving on to row nine, we will chain one, turn, and slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five, and six. And we will leave the remaining two stitches unworked. For row 10, we will chain one, turn, work two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next four, and two single crochets into the next stitch, and you'll have a total of eight stitches. And for row 11, start with a chain one and turn and work two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two single crochets into the last stitch. And for row 12, we will start with a chain one, turn, two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two single crochets into the last stitch for a total of 12 stitches. And our last row is row 13. We will chain one, turn, and work one single crochet in each stitch across. And again, we have a total of 12 stitches. And there is the front of our tree. Now we will cut our yarn and pull through to fasten off. Now we'll be making the tree back, which is just the same as the tree front, except we won't be fastening off. So go ahead and follow the instructions for the tree front again, but after row 13, we're not going to fasten off. After you've finished your second tree, you're going to keep that yarn attached and just set it aside for later. Now we'll be using our red yarn to make the icing swirls across the tree front. And we'll be using surface slip stitches. So place your hook in through the tree front somewhere near the top. And then we will make a slip knot on the hook. Pull that slip knot all the way through, and this will keep your yarn tail on the inside. And now, in a swirl pattern, we'll be creating surface slip stitches by inserting your hook, pulling up a loop, and pulling through. And again, And as you get towards the edge of the tree, you will move your surface slip stitches to, to the next row down to curve around.
And when you've reached the end, you can cut your red yarn. and pull it through. And then you can pull that yarn tail towards the back so it will be later hidden inside. And there is your tree front. Next, we'll be joining our tree front and back together so with our tree back that still has the yarn attached, we are going to chain one and turn and then lay that flat. And then we'll take the tree front and layer that on top. Now we will be crocheting all around the outside edge of the two trees to hold them together. So we will insert our hook through both trees and single crochet around. Whenever you are going around corners like this, you may want to do a couple extra single crochets. I like to do usually three single crochets per corner. So now we have the bottom together. And I'm going to start working up the side. Now for the sides, there are no real defined stitches to go through, so I just try to keep those points even and go through the sides of stitches. Now before finishing crocheting off all of the ends, we're going to leave a little spot here where we can add the stuffing. Once you've added all of your stuffing, continue crocheting around.
And once you've reached the beginning, join with a slip stitch and fasten off. Next, we will use our yarn needle to hide this end inside. And now we can move on to embroidering the sprinkles. Using our green yarn, we can embroider sprinkles all over the front of the Christmas tree. And I generally keep my sprinkles about two stitches wide. And when you've finished your sprinkles, you can tie off and hide your ends inside. And that completes the Christmas tree cake ornament. You can use this as an ornament for your tree, you can make several and attach to a garland, or you can even use them as an accessory for your amigurumi plushies. If you want to use this as a hanging ornament for your Christmas tree, here's how you can add a hanger. Take a strand of yarn about a foot long and fold it in half. Tie a knot at the end Then we will insert that yarn through the very top of your ornament. Pull it through about halfway. Next, we will take the one side and push it through to the other and pull tight. And then you can use your yarn needle to hide this little end inside. And now you can hang your ornament. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.